Hey everyone, my name is Sam. Thanks for checking out this video. Uh, I don't imagine many people will actually click on this, but whatever. Um, if you get to the end and liked it, then feel free to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and the bell notification button. Despite the fact that I feel like it's probably kind of a niche market to have like Veronica Mars fans and like booktube watching community overlap, whatever. We're just gonna do it. Um, I wanted to give you recommendations if you are fans of Veronica Mars. And I feel like I've looked at articles and a lot of them just suggest books that I've literally never heard of before, which is cool, but they're always very like contemporary murder mysteries, which I feel like that pigeonholes Veronica Mars when Veronica Mars as like a character is... <laughs> Is, is is different for sure. So I want to take parts of Veronica Mars themes or tropes that really stood out to me and as a fellow marshmallow that loves freaking Veronica Mars so much I am so freaking excited that there's a comeback. I was devastated when they cancelled it originally like forever ago. That show never got an actual shot. They never actually promoted it. It's fantastic witty banter and the fact that Kristen Bell is still like yeah I want to do it. I love this character is so heartwarming to me. I remember I drove like an hour to my closest movie theater that was playing it to watch the Veronica Mars, Veronica Mars movie which was funded completely off Kickstarter too so like it's this cult following and I'm like so excited that Hulu's gonna get it and well I wish it was more of an international platform but still and that Logan is back and her dad is back I'm just so excited so if you're like waiting if you've maybe binged all of the Veronica Mars shows or just want to think of some books to read in the future these are some books that I recommend that I think you would like if you love Veronica Mars character now a big part of the Veronica Mars show is obviously mysteries but especially her willingness like she's she's relentless in trying to track things down and figure things out she's creative as hell like to, to hell and back well, i kind of just automatically thought of the rook by daniel o'malley this is an adult book um it's got a female main character who is a part of a secret government entity in uh london um and they sort of take care of the paranormal people with people with some superpowers um in the world and she wakes up she just wakes up in the middle of london somewhere she has no memory of who she is and there's a bunch of dead people around her and she finds that she has powers and people are trying to get her and she's also working for this government agency and she from herself in the past that she doesn't have any memory of has left her clues saying people are coming for you we don't know who this is how I've set you up to protect you so I feel like this is a really good option if you really really love that mystery aspect it is more paranormal and it is set in the UK but the main female character is really 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 smart I think it's also because this is also like a, a mystery retelling um a study in Charlotte Holmes by Brittany Cavallaro um this would actually be a really good one too for it's a Sherlock Holmes retelling but Sherlock Holmes's character is a woman and it is very modern um I will say there's trigger warning for sexual assault like talked about not actually like uh, detailed in this book which I feel like has a lot of ties again to a lot of the themes and events in the Veronica Mars series but the main character is also very blunt sarcastic um, she's a bit like a Sheldon Cooper kind of character I feel like um, but I feel like she does have a little bit of those Veronica Mars character influences so if you haven't yet this is pretty big series um, I would actually really suggest this one oh my god it's so hot I'm sorry I look like such a hot mess it's like a million degrees here well for northern Alberta and don't have AC and I'm not putting anything on to look presentable today because it'll not fall off but yeah anyway another book I would recommend to a marshmallow is Wolf by Wolf by Ryan Grodin um main character again all of these books actually have female main characters I thought that was pretty like important to it but it's kind of like the blurb is what if the Nazis won the war and the main female character was a social or a, not a social the main female character was a scientific experiment and it's if essentially they can they the Nazis managed to perfect like the science of cloning people so that you can make doppelgangers of someone like Hitler to protect him and the main female character is uh was the victim of that she was Jewish as well and um this is kind of if they had continued the war had continued going on she enters a motorcycle race and she's gonna get things done and there's a assassination attempt and everything. i love this series so much it's so underhyped but i feel like the main character again has a lot of those traits that she doesn't necessarily have a lot of the sarcasm or wittiness but she's very strong very determined um you, do, you she's gonna get things done she's you're not gonna distract her whatever pops up she's gonna find ways around it and get the job done so I guess I should retract literally what I just said. Um, the main character, Jackie, is technically a man. His sidekick uh, assistant, who has a, a massive part in this role, um, is a female. And I feel like she's 
both of them are almost kind of embody Veronica Mars. It's a paranormal murder mystery in the United States. Um, in 18... In 82, the main female character, she's not necessarily sarcastic, but she's really strong. She wants to be independent in this time period when that's not the easiest of things. And she kind of finds herself and gets that independence in this small little group of odd people that are on the outside of society and um, of their like local community. And... It just reminded me of Veronica Mars for uh, a plethora of reasons. So in case you somehow haven't heard of this book, if you watch my channel, A Curious Beginning by Tina Rayborn. Veronica, uh, actually, this is ironic too. The main character's name is Veronica Speedwell. She is the most sarcastic fictional character I have ever read. She, they're solving murder mysteries, and there's definitely a long, slow burn, um, dislike to like, like Logan and Veronica, um, <laughs> sexual tension. And I just finished book four, and they still haven't, like, banged it out which is infuriating to me but she is um for the time period of the victorian era um there's a lineage reveal again also a big part of the veronica mars um book or tv show um it's just fantastic and veronica and stoker are logan and veronica i'm sorry it's so good and i would just highly recommend this book on its own but if you are love veronica mars you will love this main female character i'd be floored if you did not um very sassy sarcastic she has a sexual past too, which which is a big thing in this time period. And she can also kick a little butt. We we kind of learned that early on at the beginning. And she's very independent and feminist for the time period, especially. And it's just a fantastic series. And if you, if there's only one book in this whole video that you get interested in, look up a, career, a curious beginning by Veronica uh, by Deanna Rayborn, book one in the Veronica Speedwell series. This is kind of last minute addition to my pile, but like as I was looking through my books, and I was like, but how could I not include this? I know everyone's heard of this book, Renegades, by Marissa Meyer. It is a Marissa Meyer release. Everyone reads a Marissa, Marissa Meyer. Um, but the main character grew up in this very dystopian world where, you know, her her family upbringing wasn't uh, ideal, we'll say. I don't want to ruin anything in this book. Um, but there's a lot of superpowers, and she's kind of the anti... She's like a Deadpool character, right? Where she's not on the once on the the good people that are currently ruling this world, dystopian world with these superpowers, but she's definitely not really on the sides of the rebels. She's kind of in this in between, like this anti-hero and trying to figure out who exactly is lying and not. So there's a lot of mysteries, a lot of like trying to find out who you should and shouldn't be forming relationships with, and sometimes getting burned. And I just feel like a lot of the lessons that are in the Veronica Mars series are probably in here. And the series is also just fantastic. And the third and final book comes out in November or December. It's called Supernova, which has me shook because the main female character's name is, so is Nova. And oh, I'm just so excited for what Supernova would mean. And yeah, I would really, really, really recommend the series alone. But I think if, again, if you like Veronica Mars, it's a sci-fi um, with some, with superpowers in the dystopian future. But I think a lot of the mystery and like the main female character will really, really interest you. Um, I would obviously have to put Dare You to Lie in here by Emperor Lunatish. First of all, I don't think enough people read this book because it's actually a really good mystery. Um, this is literally just Veronica Mars novelization. Like there are those two books that Kristen Bell actually narrates the audiobooks for. One's called like The Billion Dollar Tan Line. I can't remember what the other one is. I think Rob Thomas is the actual like author of them and they're great, but there's only two of them, right? <laughs> so if this is, it's a contemporary mystery. Like this is literally Veronica Mars in a novelization YA format that's not written by Rob Thomas, okay? Main character is her father was set up for a crime. He used to work for the FBI and is now in jail under suspicious circumstances. You know, she had nude photos taken of her without her consent while she wasn't sober. They don't know who did it. Everyone's trying to cover things up. There's some drug abuse uh, on the sports team. So, and, and she has these, I, and I couldn't remember the character the other day when I was filming, Wallace. I don't know why I couldn't remember Wallace's name, but Wallace and Mac sort of friends and an ex-boyfriend that she's a little bit still hung up on. And, you know, a sexy kind of cop guy. And this just all yes to this. And I'm so excited to read my arc next month of the sequel. And it, if you like Veronica Mars, you're going to like this book. She's immensely sassy and sarcastic. This one, I'm like, I don't know if this would, but yes, but no, but yes, I'm going to put it in here. If you don't like it, if, if it doesn't sound something of interest to you, then you, know, you don't have to read it. But in the off chance, it does sound interesting to you. The Valiant by Leslie Livingston. It is a trilogy. Um, all the three of the books are out and are it's around female gladiatrixes. So it's a, if you want a big cast of strong females, this is where you go. 
Um, there's also a bit of a lineage reveal. There's a lot of like slavery and revolt and then politics start coming into the swing of things near the end of this trilogy. Um, but it's, it's honestly really interesting. It's got like a large female cast of female gladiators and they all come from different backgrounds and there is some definite romance for sure. Um, but things, I think that my love of Veronica Mars was for the time period when the show came out, it didn't sugarcoat high school. Like it was really, really realistic. Like when I watch some shows, I'm like, yeah, that was elementary school friend. They, that, that's not high school realistic. That's, I feel like this is, it's, it's quite really, like, there's a lot of murder, I feel warning, and, like, some people get, like, lot limbs cut off and gladiatrix school and all this stuff, and it, I just, I would really, really recommend this series just, again, as a whole, but I feel like if you like the strong femaleness of Veronica, especially, um, that even though she gets knocked down a lot, she keeps getting back up, I think this is a good book for you to take a look into. It is a historical fiction set in, um, the time of Caesar in Rome, but I think, you know, strong females are still strong females. Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller. Uh, if you somehow haven't heard of this book, friend, you're in for a treat. Uh, it's female Jack Sparrow, basically. That's It's female Jack Sparrow, Veronica Mars. That's basically what this book is. Um, the main character, Elosa, is the daughter of the Pirate King. And she pirates, um, ha captains a ship of pirates. And they go out and do pillaging for her father. Um, and they kind of knock heads with some... I guess we'll call them like princes, but like captors for a couple of reasons, which I don't want to disclose because it's a really good start to the book. Oh man, I want to reread this book now. Um, anyways, uh, <laughs> it's a sign of a really good book. Um, the main female character is so freaking sassy and sarcastic and blunt. And oh my God, like if I was ever going to go for female fictional character, Sexual tension for days. She plays men so much. Like, it's insane and so entertaining to watch. And it's just, the book is fantastic alone. But again, if you like Veronica Mars' character, sassy, witty, sarcastic, lots of clapbacks, girl, like, the, or boy, this is, this is, or just non-binary, whatever. Whoever you are, this is a book for you, okay? <laughs> So those are all the books that I would recommend to a fellow Marshmallow. Um, let me know in the comment section down below if you have any other suggestions, actually. I'd love to know. Maybe I just don't know of the book. Um, and let me know if you've read any of these already and uh, what you thought of. I will link all of these books in the description down below. I will also link that with my social media down below. So feel free to follow me and I will follow you back.